Oh, Neil, smash it, smash it right in that camera. Go on, in that hole, go. Coming up on the show this week, we've got all the usual fun, plus crowdfunding of an indoor riding centre. And we've got the craziest thing you've ever seen on a mountain bike trail, ever. And we've got some racing news, all the way from America and some in Europe, featuring Martin's favourite rider, Justin Bieber. Mm, no, we'll find out later. And Scotty's got a new haircut. Spotted this amazing video last week of unicycling mountain biking on a mountain bike trail. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen on a mountain bike trail. You must have to wear double chamois for this. I think it looks so much fun. Oh, oh look oh, at him. He totally tried that. to jump then. Watch that again. That was amazing. Who does like that? it? Well, I'm not sure. Fancy a go? No, jury's out on this one. Well, actually, mm. jury isn't out. I don't like it. <laughs> don't like it. I, I think it's kind of funny. Boys, what is the craziest thing you've seen on the trail? Well, my one is in Whistler. We're coming down one of the nice trails that they have up there. Came over a nice flowing jump and uh, a bear just scurried up the trail in front of us. Crossed the trail and ran alongside. That's pretty cool. Actually. Danger alert. I've heard there's a clip of that. Yeah, QVT. Maybe he was in a rush for his picnic. <laughs> the weirdest thing on an animal theme I've seen on a trail is a flying dead sheep. I was on a trail. For, uh, for real? It, yeah, for real. A real flying dead sheep. I was on a trail in a cross country race. The guy at the front on the motorcycle trials bike rode over the oh. dead carcass oh. of a sheep, pinned it, it flew into the air. <laughs> The dead smelly, smelly carcass went over my head and it landed in the like cockpit area of the guy following me. <laughs> Needless to say, I won the race. So Neil, what's the, what's the weirdest thing you've ever seen on well, the Well, it wasn't me personally, but a friend of mine was coming down three steep bit of trail, round the corner and uh, bumped in someone, shall I say, taking care of nature, <laughs> squatting. <laughs> Barreled into him, they both went tumbling, matey boys pulling his trousers up, and that corner has since been known as Pooh Corner. <laughs> Organic turn. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's your craziest thing you've ever seen on a trail? Is it unicycling, mountain biking? Is it rollerblading? Is it someone taking a dump? Or is it just a great big furry bear? I oh. can't wait to read these ones. Yeah, let us know in the comment section below. For more news, following on from last week, we've seen that Shimano have actually gone to the aid of the local bike shop and they've slashed some of their prices, especially in the US. And in the UK, they've slashed some disc rotor prices. Yeah, so this is all about the local bike shops trying to compete with the online salespeople like we talked about last week. And it's, it's good to see, it's good for the consumers, I suppose, with prices coming down. So look forward to seeing those reductions. Anything supporting the local bike shops, I'm in. In other news, a new indoor bike park has been crowdfunded. They've got £300,000. Wow. Yeah, that looks awesome. We've seen a lot of them already in the US. And big pump tracks, sort of indoor loops as well. It could be really good, especially when there's so much wet weather going around. Yeah, I can't wait to see what it looks like. I hope it's like Ray's Park in the States, which is really popular. Um, and amazing to see crowdfunding being used in this way. I've actually had a lot of support um, online in crowdfunding, so I'm a big fan of it. Let's crowdfund a dirt shed show indoor park. Yes. Oh my God, that's a great idea. <laughs> I've got to fess up, I missed this last week and I really wanted to talk about it. A uh, recent team launch of the Cannondale girls team. Uh, I love the look of this team. It looks so cool. Their kit, you like it too as well, don't you? I think it's very interesting. It's yeah. rad, isn't it? It's got like a Roy Lichtenstein pop art character on it. Oh, I think it's the best looking cycle kit I've seen in ages. Certainly very different and you're going to see them quite clearly out on the track. Yeah, yeah. And it's a diverse team as well, different disciplines and they're going to ride internationally. So it's going to be really interesting to see how they get on. In other industry news, the parent company of Mavic have bought MV Composites for 50 million <coughs> US dollars. Wow. Big money. Two big uh, wheel companies there. Mavic, a really old French company, have bought a really cool brand there. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. Mm. What would be cool is to see if Mavic makes some more carbon wheels because we've not seen them do that yet. And Mavic are obviously massive in the mountain bike world. And uh, can they grow Envy? Are they going to sort of build them together? Or are they going to keep them completely separate? Who mm. knows? We'll guess. We'll see. Yeah, it'll be interesting to find out if they're buying them for the cool or they're buying them for the tooling. Yeah. Mm, don't know. Yeah, maybe they're going to make some cardboard aero rims. Maybe they've seen that video. <laughs> <laughs> they're on a roll. 
tell you what I saw. Following on from last week, we talked about Nikolai Rogatkin and throwing that amazing run, he pulled a 1080. Oh my God, this was on the Masters of Dirt um, contest. I mean, the guy's on fire this year. He's going to be doing some big things in contests. And what's amazing in this 1080 is the style in the last yeah. 360. Do you know what? I'm going to put my hand up and say, maybe, just maybe, he can challenge Brandon Semenik later Ooh, this year at some of the slopes that are. Wow, that is a big mind. That 1080, that is like almost three 360s. Mental. Mm. I've talked a lot about Aaron Gwynn recently, and it's just got me thinking, guys. He looks a little bit like someone. What do you think? <laughs> yes. Yeah, Josh Hobby from the Queens of Stone Age. Yeah, he does. They look absolutely identical. Hey, I'll tell you what, that's got me thinking yeah. on a look alikey. If you look at Danny McCaskill. Yeah, there now, he is. Now, who does he look like? Ed Sheeran. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Will he mm. like that comparison? I don't know. He's got a beautiful singing voice. Uh, growing up in Sky, there wasn't much else to do, so. You know what would be really funny? Have you got anyone or anything that looks like a famous mountain biker? Anything? Well, uh, an I old pair know. of flip flops that looks what, like what? Steve Pete. One of the uh, good people here in the offices mentioned that maybe there was a squirrel out there that could look like, you know, Brendan Fairclough. Yeah. I'd like I'd, to see it. I'd like to see it if you could possibly send them into Dirt Shed at Global Mountain Bike Network. If you have got one, we would love to see them and we would definitely feature them on the show. Do you boys want to check out some cool viewers' bikes this week? Yeah, let's do it. Hit me. Ah, oh, cheers. What do you reckon to that one? Nice. Nice. That's really nice. Super because nice. Super, super nice, nice. Because that's got one of those loud forks on it. Super nice. Super nice. GT, Dano bike, Fox Voice, and even a fat bike for you, Neil. Nice. 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 Look at that. That's super nice. We love seeing your bikes. If you want to be featured on the show, then why not send them in to... Dirt Shed at globalmountainbikenetwork.com Guys, have you seen this video of Nino Scherzer training? I no. checked out. No. It blew my mind. Let me see. Skateboards, rollerblades, Swiss balls. All the toys. It's pretty crazy. He's even juggling for recovery. Who does that? Well, Nino. That's next level. It's like a Ninja Warrior. So this is what he's doing in between his training? This is training for Ninja Warrior, not for racing mountain bikes. Look at that. Oh my God, that looks tough. That looks like it should be in a movie. It should be a special effect or a stuntman doing that. It's pretty cool to see all this behind the, the scenes stuff though, isn't it? Stuff yeah. that you wouldn't expect from a top racer to actually show you yeah. how they're training for the racing. That um, guy's a machine. Obviously the Olympics come up this year, so. I tell you what, you can see why he is world champion after watching that, can't you? Yeah. Look at that on a skateboard, that is amazing. Do you think Julian Absalom's gonna watch this video and be like, hmm, mm. I need a skateboard. Last week's caption contest, we had some banging comments, some very flattering ones to myself as well. And my one goes to Jonathan Perez. When you look so fine that girls fall for you literally. I like it. I thought a good one. This comes from Abby Senior. She should attach an old tire to the bottom of her shoes to stop her slipping and send it into GMBN as a hack. That has been done. That has been done. That has been done. She needed some of those. I've got the winner though. It's from Sneaker Rif Sneaky Rifter 3. When you leave your ass saver at home. Very good. That's this week's winner. Send us your details and we will send you some GMBN swag. A t-shirt, in fact. Yeah. Nice. This week's photo. Oh, this oh. is a classic. This is a classic. picture of Steve Pete doing a jump. For those eagle-eyed viewers. In the background is myself, Martin, Rob Warner. Those are legends. I'm not a legend, but these boys are. No, I'm not. I. <laughs> So what does that make you think and what does it make you say? Leave your caption in the comment section below and I can't wait to hear what you've got to say. Yeah. I, uh, I probably wasn't even born then when that, uh, when that picture happened. All right. Tech of the week. Specialized have announced an alloy version of the Demo 8. Oh, and it's a beautiful bike. That's pretty big news because it's a popular yeah. bike, I think, and it's a lot cheaper. Yeah. $2,600 for the frame compared to four and a half for the carbon version. Yeah. Any details on the actual weight of the bike or is wow. it just in money? Weighs less pound notes. Weighs less pound notes. Wow. Like it. Good like one. it. Looks good. What I actually really enjoy about when Specialized release a new bike is the video that they go with it. Yeah. They have the coastal crew and they're absolutely shredding the local trails in BC. Oh, I'd love to be out there right now. 
Shout outs this week I'm throwing to Jake and Theo Riddle, two six year old twins who are absolutely shredding their bikes in New Zealand, hitting some massive jumps on their little bikes. Well worth a watch. My shout out this week is for Sam Hodgson, who's the protege of a good friend of mine, Blake Sampson. He's bringing him on. This is his first video and he's pulling some crazy stunts for such a young rider. So nice one, Sam. It's a great little vid. Yeah, and a couple of big crashes he had at the start of that mm, one as well. Yeah, sending it. Mm, cool. My shout out goes to Jacob Dixon. He rides for Nuke Proof. He had a couple of top three at World Cup as a junior and he's moving up to elite ranks. And it's just a little promo video showing off uh, how he's going to do this year. It's cool. You should just check it out. Kids are coming and they're all riding their bikes fast and doing massive jumps. Yeah. Shout out to the youngsters this week. Yeah, nice. Young guns. Pin the trail, laddie. So we've got a cracking pin this week. But Robert Scarosi, you did miss out a few jumps. So we're going to call you out on that. Check out a video on how to clear doubles or how to jump. Now this one, he's got quite nice trails through the woods and it's in Romania, Valsia. And on this map, it's actually quite hard to find, but I think I have got it. It's just about here. Different view of the world, but you know, that's always good sometimes. So there we go. And we've got another cracker here from Josh Ryan. He goes off a whopping great drop off. It's in the trails called Taipan in Townsville, just somewhere around Cairns. So it's quite weird looking at Australia being north, but we can work with it. Pop it in just here. There we go. If you've got any more pins, send them into dirtshed at gmbn.com. Instabangers, yeah, this week we've got... Martin Mays, he's just joined Instagram. Follow him, the young Belgium enduro star. See some cool stuff. My Instabanger this week is Anton Thielander, a dirt jump superstar, Red Bull athlete, Canyon bikes, all the cool stuff. Check it out, it's a great account. Hacks and bodges. Pamela in Toronto has made a wheel jig out of some cardboard, some bulldog Brilliant. clips, and some straws. That is genius, isn't it? What else do you actually need? That's pretty good. Yeah, it makes me wonder if I ever need to buy a wheel jig again. When was the last time you bought a wheel jig? <laughs> That's a good question. Coming up on the channel this week, tomorrow we've got Mission Control Series, and it's how to use your knees for cornering. And on Sunday, it's switch back and a bonus training video of how to build base miles. So check that out. What bonus video? Bonus. On Monday, it's how to service your free hub. And then on Tuesday, we've got top 10 tips to improve your confidence. And on Wednesday, we've got how to get faster by following others. And a bonus video of what is downhill. Two bonuses, one bonus, week. Bonus. And we've got okay. comment jumping mistakes on Thursday. On Friday, there's a big bonus. Wait, big, what is it? What is it? Bonus. It's the Dirt Shed Show. It's more exciting than that, Neil. It's the Dirt Shed Show. Number 52. Oh, he's excited. Oh, that wow. was excitement, right? That is exciting. One whole year. A year of Dirt Shed shows. And this shed is getting pretty dirty. Oh, it feels great. That was another great Dirt Shed Show. And we've got loads of videos in our archive now. And I'm sure you want to check some more out. So you can click up there for our top 10 hacks to make you faster. And you can click down there for a Q&A with G and Rach. And so you don't miss out on any great videos, click in the middle to subscribe. It's free and you get a great video every day of the week. Sometimes more than that. Sometimes a bonus video. Sometimes. And if you enjoyed this week's Dirt Shed Show, give us a thumb up.